I'm not even going to cover how to do that. Well, however you do it is fine. What matters most, the, the thing that matters the most, is you need to let them know that they need this job and they need this experience. And if you get that accomplished at the end, then you're really setting the hook. So at that point, you say, hey, by the way, uh, we're gonna, in just a few minutes, we're gonna be meeting one-on-one, -on -one, and it's gonna be during that time that I'm gonna be making my final decision. And obviously, we've got a great team, we've got some big goals, and we're really looking for the right people. And if it works out for you, one of the things you're gonna love most about this position, it, yes, the trips are cool, and the pay's great, and the product's amazing, but really what's gonna be really beneficial is gonna be the experience that you're going to be able to add to your resume. That experience is gonna allow you to be able to go into interviews and separate yourself from everybody else. You know, the difference is when you sit into, in, front of a, a, in front of somebody, you have something that's impressive. You know how to manage your time. You know how to be disciplined. You know how to work with people. You know how to work with others. You know how to hit goals. You know how to do all these skills that are valuable to every company, and you have experience doing it. Most of your peers don't, and that's a big separator. And I've looked at all of your applications today, and you need more experience. Because <laughs> the reality is, you don't want to be that applicant that sits in front of somebody that they say, I really like you, I think you're really great, you know, but I'm looking for somebody that has more experience. And you know, it's kind of a weird catch-22. Catch-22, it's like, how do I get experience if nobody's ever gonna give me a job because I don't have enough experience? Well, you need it. And you can do that. And if you don't get a position with us, I hope you don't mind me sharing this advice. I would say, go get something that gives you experience. Even if you have to do it for free, like volunteer somewhere, or a free internship, or something like that. Because in most cases, you're not going to get hired at a job that's gonna be able, that, you know, because you don't have enough experience. So you're probably gonna have to intern or do something for free to get it. The nice thing about here is that you make a lot of money while getting the experience. And if it doesn't work out here, there's not a lot of jobs like this, like what we have here, but there are internships and there are other things that you could do to get some experience. And if it doesn't work out here, just I want you to really consider that because I think you guys need it. So hopefully we can work something out for some of you. I'm looking forward to getting a chance to, to talk about that here in just a minute. Here, uh, what I want you to do is fill out a couple of these uh, essays here. Take your time on those. Uh, we'll be reviewing those here at the end. And uh, boom, you know, go into post. So you kind of really lay that hammer down because basically you just said, as the employer, you don't have enough experience. Mm -hmm. you know? And so now you go into the post. So now the 